In this video, I'm going to answer some questions about resizing images and some fixes that I put into the image um, clipping features. And then I'm going to go on and discuss how we can um, create a offset line um, and how that all works um, with the uh, duplicate line feature. So to begin with, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out and I'm actually going to change this to a landscaped image or drawing. And I'm going to import an image, and it's going to be coming from, go out to Safari, um, this floor plan, which is um, out on a website. So to capture this image, I would just resize it um, to where I see the entire image on the screen, and then just press the Home key and the On Off button. And I've already done that, and so that would put the image in the photo album. And to bring it into GraphPad, I'm going to change the import image size to large, so I have the best resolution I offer. And then go to the Image button, and just pick it out of the um, photo library. So what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and position this a little bit better on the screen and resize it a little bit. And we're going to clip this image. And so we want to get the highest resolution I can. So I'll zoom in a bit, and then I'll just create a selection area around the part of the image that I want, go to Images, and hit Clip. So now I have this image, and I can see the size of the image in this um, view over here. But if I wanted to resize it so it's to scale, um, I have this one length here, which is 16 feet 1 inches. And I can attempt to draw a line on that and see how long it currently is set at. And so if I drop a dimension on there, I'll see it's now 14 feet 6 inches. So what I need to do is I need to increase this image size a little bit. And currently I don't have an automatic scaling feature and so you'd have to just manually go to points mode, grab the little green handle, and kind of drag it out and resize it. And to be kind of iterative as you try and kind of line it up so it lines up with the exact size you want and set this <clears throat> line size to be 16 feet 1 inch and then just kind of play with it and to get it to the right size. However, in the future, I've got two options which I'm looking at. And one is going to be with the image itself, that if I select the image and I went to Images, I would have an option to put a From To size to set a scale factor and then automatically resize the image. And that's very similar to what I've started to do with the grid, where I have a Calculate Grid size and I have a From and a To size where I put in for example, it's currently 14 feet 6 inches to 16 feet 1 inches, and it would change the grid. So I'm looking at adding two features which will make this a lot easier to do. But currently as it stands, um, you would just have to manually kind of play with it until it got correct. Now, <clears throat> another feature that I've uh, worked on is the clipping feature. And originally, I had to have the center of the image um, captured in order to clip an image. Now, however, what I can do, and what I'm going to Go ahead and get rid of these entities here. Now what you can do is you can actually just pick any part of the image, create a selection area, and you can clip just down to that one part of the image. And so that's a significant improvement that I've added um, in a previous release. So the other part of uh, this presentation is showing how I can actually duplicate uh, curves. So as it stands right now, if I draw a line, um, what I can do to duplicate this is I can actually go through and I can select each one of the lines and go to Translate. I can adjust the distance that I want to um, create a duplicate offset. And we'll say, for example, 2 feet. And now if I hit Duplicate, it'll actually duplicate that line. Now, what you're going to see there is going to be, um, it's not going to be exactly the same. There's two things that are going on. First is it's using the right hand rule to determine which direction to do the offset. So because I picked the um, lines in this direction, then if I looked at it and the right hand rule is kind of like this, um, it's actually going to offset it um, inward. However, I'll go ahead and back up a little bit. If I did the same procedure in the opposite direction, it's going to offset it in this direction, uh, going out. So if we hit the offset, I'm sorry, not offset, duplicate, 
now I've duplicated it. So <clears throat> why is it not exactly a perfect duplication? So all it's doing, if I go into points mode, you can actually see it, is it's taking both the um, start points of the curves and the control points and just offsetting those both um, exactly two feet. So if I went to dimensions and went point to point, I can grab two dimensions and each one of these is going to be exactly two feet. However, when the control points are offset, they really need to be adjusted, right? So, and I haven't calculated how to do that yet. So to get this to where it looks a little bit more clean, what you need to do is go and take your various different um, control points and line them up so it actually gives you the shape that you're looking for. And you can see how these are working just by how I'm manipulating this. So you can see, it's, again, it's a little bit of a manual process um, in order to do that. So we could still do the same thing with um, square lines, and we'd run into more or less the same sort of difficulty. Grab this again. Quit. There we go. If I grab the lines in this direction, it's going to offset them inside, or if I grab them um, go in the opposite direction, it's going to follow the right-hand rule and put them on the outside. If I go to Translate and hit Duplicate, now we'll notice that um, it followed the same algorithm, sorry, where each one of these points is exactly two feet away. Try this again. Point to point one, there we go. Okay. But again, because it's just offsetting these points, it doesn't um, create the, the, the desired effect. So what we can do to kind of finish out this portion of the drawing is to select the lines that aren't connected. If you have a single line collect, uh, selected, you have the option of having a guideline. And so we'll select multiple guidelines. And now I can select each one of these lines and hit points, and it will put a point at the intersection. And so now what I can do is just scoot these lines in and I've got exactly what I'm looking for. And I'll continue around the geometry in this fashion. And then when I've completed this, I would just go ahead and delete these guidelines and I'd have the effect that I'm looking for. And those are the two features that I wanted to demonstrate. Um, this is still a work in progress, so um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to add uh, algorithms that solve these problems a little more effectively and a little, with a little less effort. But um, this is the state of the application as it is today. Thank you very much.